what is good john welcome back to yet again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji and i'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys now as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail yes vader did get hit and in today's video we're gonna go ahead and talk about exactly what happened so go ahead stay tuned hit the subscribe button if you haven't already turn on post notifications and give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already it would help your boy out more than you know puts this video in the algorithm and basically promotes it throughout youtube to newer possible subscribers so if you could do your boy a favor hit the like let's go ahead and roll that intro So, as you guys can see, we are in Vader right now. Dude got the POV cam going for you guys, man. And um, the topic at hand in today's video. Yes, Vader did get hit. Um, no, it's not clickbait. No, it's not cap. I know you guys see that I'm driving the car. Some of you guys may already have known about the car getting hit. If you follow me on Instagram, then more than likely you already saw in my story when it actually happened now i'm gonna keep it a buck this happened i want to say almost a week ago um and it did happen actually at my job it happened while i was at work um and it does suck i'm gonna be honest it is mad unfortunate um but you know to be honest it is what it is you can't really do anything about it now that it's over you know what i'm saying it happened it's water under the bridge i can't really complain too much now thankfully the car is not a it's not totaled b it's not damaged to the point where it's like damn i can't drive this car for real for real and see it's not even damaged to the point where it's like something that i need to urgently fix for real for real um, so basically what I believe happened is somebody backed into my car while the car was parked in the parking lot. The reason why I say that is because I'll go ahead and post the photos that I took on my phone when I first realized that the car was hit. As you guys can see on the screen, the pictures tell it all, kind of. Um, if you look at the tow hook, the tow hook normally sits flush. As you guys know, I have my tow hook straight up. Um, I kind of chose late to go at that light for if for, for, you, well, whatever. Um, I, I keep my tow hook nice and flush upright. Um, so as you guys can see, basically what happened was the tow hook is actually bent to the left inward towards the bumper and then right above where the tow hook got chipped at like the, the car literally chipped out a piece of the paint on the tow hook right above on the tow hook where the paint got chipped at there is a dent in my bumper where it looks like the back of a vehicle basically hit it and then pushed up against it with that dent that you guys see in this picture i believe i'm gonna put right here as you guys see in this picture that i just put right here man the car you can see the little dent you can see the impression and then around it you can see little spider rib cracks and then the other area where there's damage is as you can see in this picture a piece of the paint actually got scraped off of the bumper completely so like i said it's not to the point where it's like damn i need to send my car to a body shop right now or damn i need to call insurance and have them get involved but it is damaged to the point where like i am eventually gonna have to do something about it now the reason why i'm not a thousand percent upset about the situation is because if you've been a part of the ji squad for a minute or at least as long as i've had vader then you guys already know I've been wanting to A, get a new bumper and get fresh paint laid on the bumper for the front end of this car ever since I got it. Um, there was a whole bunch of rock tips that were exposed when I had the car paint corrected. And also the dealership ended up drilling holes into the front bumper to put a license plate bracket. And as car guys and for the small percentage of females who watch the channel, car girls, 
we all know we don't do front plates. We don't do putting holes in the front bumper. Like we don't do that. So that being said, I've been wanting to replace my bumper from the get go. So that's why I'm not too much tripping on it. As far as who hit my car or what happened, I already I can already see the comments now. Well, damn J.I., did you get insurance? Or damn J.I., who did it? Do you know who did it? Woo -de -woo. My boss told me that he watched the camera footage back and he did not see the car get hit. So he doesn't think that the accident happened at my job. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck. I do not believe that statement at all. Like, I don't believe it whatsoever. Solely because my birthday was Sunday, the 18th. This happened on Tuesday. My car literally goes from work, then back to my house in my garage. I don't have a public parking garage. I don't park my car in public parking. My car doesn't go to the grocery store or to the mall or any of that stuff. I have the daily for that. This car literally goes to work and then goes back to the house. If I got some runs in, then I'll get some runs in. If I pop out to a meet, then I might pop out to a meet. But literally the car goes nowhere. So. I know for a fact that the car was hit at the dealership. It didn't happen anywhere else. So with bro telling me that he didn't see anything on the cameras, it told me everything that I needed to know, bro. Like bottom line, I know what I need to know. So it is what it is. I'm not about to press the issue solely because of the simple fact that the damage is not crazy. If the car was totaled or the car had to go to a body shop, I most definitely would have pressed that issue for show and I would have got it resolved right then and there. But since none of that's going on, bro, I just chose to keep the peace. I'm gonna go ahead and take that L, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna charge it to the game and I'm gonna keep it pushing. My car drives, it works, nothing's wrong with it. Um, the cosmetic damage is annoying, um, but at the end of the day, it's like I told my wife, if my car was a different color and you can see the spiderweb cracking and you could see the dent and you could see the chipping of the paint, the chipped off paint area, like from a, a couple steps back or you could really see it like for real, then hell yeah, I'd be even more upset. But since that's not the case, bro, like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Like, see, y'all see what the... F Y'all see what we be dealing here in Houston, bro. Like, this is what I deal with. People like that. Bro was trying to cut off where you got to keep going straight at. Then last minute decides he wants to turn right. Whole time, bro ain't had a blinker on at all. Now, mind you, I barely had my blinker on, but I was actually turning right. This is the goofy stuff that we deal with on a daily basis. But anyway, bro, that's what happened with my car yes vader got hit no i'm not going through insurance no i'm not calling insurance none of that bro like i'm trying to keep the value of my car up i'm just gonna fix it by myself when the time comes as of right now i'm not tripping i'm probably just gonna get some touch-up paint to fill in the spot where the paint was completely removed off of because we don't want that spreading when the car gets washed with a pressure washer but i did want to go ahead and inform you guys as to what's going on because y'all already know y'all are my family man i let y'all know what's going on with this car the highs the lows the goods the bads the full in and out bro like i'm fully transparent with y'all with this build i've been transparent with you guys with all of my builds and i'm not about to stop now but with all of that being said y'all that is actually gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's vlog if you guys are new to the channel like i said earlier please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Like I said, bro, it really helps me get my YouTube videos into the YouTube algorithm, which helps the channel grow, which in part helps more money come into the channel, which means I can put more money into the channel, which means more mods and more videos for you guys. So at the end of the day, everything still goes full circle and it's a win-win for not only me, but also y'all. So that being said, rock with your boy hit that subscribe button down below i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace